So as you follow along to this routine, all our sticks that we use are color coded. And if you buy yours off of Amazon or Tamu or wherever you buy your tools, if you bought the same ones, they obviously don't come color coded. So I'm just gonna show you show you and explain which are which, just so that you know. So we don't use these first two because they're too big to use for anything. So you can just set those aside because in most of my videos, we don't use them. And so you're left with these. So in this order, you can look. And it basically goes in this order from biggest to smallest. Green, blue, white, yellow, pink, and black down to the smallest one. Okay, so for <clears throat> this color palette, uh, the colors I used. So for number one, I used the Deco Art Americana Buttermilk. For the number two, I used the Deco Art Americana Light Avocado. Number three, Deco Art Americana Sage Mint. Number four, I used two colors to make one. So I used the Brilliant Purple and the Gentle Heather. More of the Gentle Heather and just a little bit of the Brilliant Purple. Mix those to get this color. And then for number five, I used the Gentle Heather. And for number six, I used the Craft Smart Multi Surface Gradient Gold. Okay, so first step, we're gonna take the big green stick with paint color three, and you're gonna place it right in the middle on that dot. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly with paint color five, and we're gonna take the bigger end of the pink twirly, and we're gonna place a dot on each of these lines as close to that middle dot as you can. Okay, next step, we're gonna use the pink twirly again, smaller end with paint color six. And we're gonna place a little dot in between. Okay, so next step, we're gonna take the little black stick with paint color two. And we're gonna put a dot above the little ones we just did. So in between the lines. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly, bigger end with pink color one. And we're gonna place a little dot above though, like this. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly smaller end with pink color four. So you're gonna start right here next to this dot that we made and you're gonna drag around.
okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly and the pink twirly. So we're gonna take the white twirly bigger end with paint color six, and you're make, gonna make a dot right there in between. And then you're gonna take the smaller end of the pink twirly and drag it down here in between to make a teardrop. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly bigger end with paint color three. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna place one dot above the teardrop, and then you're gonna place two to the side of that line. So the line's right in the middle of those two. And then you're gonna place one more on top. So you have four dots like that. Okay, so next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly with paint color five. So we're gonna use the big end to place one dot above, and then you're gonna switch to the smaller end and walk the dots around. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly again with paint color two. And we're gonna walk the dots again. So using the bigger end, you're gonna place one dot and then you're gonna switch to the smaller end and you're gonna walk the dots around. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly again 
with paint color six. And we're gonna walk the dots again. But when you place this first dot, you're not gonna switch to the smaller end. You're just gonna re-dip and walk the dots with the bigger end. Oh, the whole thing's with the big end? Yes. But you're not gonna re-dip? No, you, you, you are gonna re-dip. Next step, we're gonna take the white twirly, bigger end with paint color number one. And you're gonna start here in between the first and second dot of the walking the dots. And you're gonna drag down in between. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the little black stick with paint color three, and we're gonna place a dot right there. So white twirly, bigger end with paint color four and we're gonna start here in the middle and you're gonna drag up and then and then you're gonna start in the same spot and then drag up the other way Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly with paint color six. So we're gonna use the bigger end to place one dot in between, and then you're gonna switch to the smaller end and walk, your dot, walk the dots straight out, staying close to that swoosh. 
and then re-dip and then do the other way. Six. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirly, smaller end, with paint color 2. And we're going to go back to these four dots over here, and we're going to overlap them. So you're going to place a smaller dot on top of them, but you still want to make sure you leave a sliver of the original color. And we're gonna do the same thing for this middle dot. So you're just gonna overlap it, still living, leaving a sliver of the original color. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the black stick with paint color two. And we're gonna place a dot right here. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink stick with paint color 3, and we're going to put it right above the dots we just did. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly with paint color one. Pink twirly with paint color one. So we're gonna walk the dots. So using the bigger end for this first dot, and then you're gonna switch to the smaller end and walk the dots around. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirly, bigger end, with paint color 5, and we're going to walk the dots, but we're not going to switch to the smaller side, so you'll place that first dot, re-dip, 
and then walk the dots around, re-dip, and then do the other half. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly with paint color two, and we're gonna walk the dots again. So bigger end for this first dot, and then you'll switch to the smaller end to walk the dots around. Yes. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly, bigger end with paint color four, and you're gonna start down here, and you're gonna drag up. Bigger end. Next step, we're gonna take the white twirly bigger end. White twirly bigger end. With paint color one. And we're gonna do another swoosh like that. So starting right here. And another one right alongside it.
Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly bigger end with paint color six. So you're gonna place one dot with the big side and then you're gonna switch to the smaller side and you're gonna walk the dots along this swoosh. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly bigger end with paint color three. And we're gonna start here, and we're gonna drag up. Yeah, paint color three, bigger side of the white twirly. Okay, next step, we're gonna use the white twirly, bigger end with paint color five. And you're just gonna put a dot right here. We're gonna take the pink stick with paint color two. And we're going to put a dot right above like that. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirly, bigger end with pink color one. And we're going to walk the dots. So bigger end for the first dot, and then you're going to switch to the smaller end to walk the dots. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly, bigger end with paint color six, and we're gonna walk the dots again, except we are not going to switch to the smaller end. You'll just continue with the bigger end to walk the dots. Okay, so next step, we're going to take the white twirly with paint color four, and we're going to walk the dots. So bigger end for that first dot, and then you're going to switch to the smaller end to walk the dots. Sorry? Yes.
We're gonna take the little black stick and the blue twirly. Black stick and blue twirly with paint color three. So we're gonna take the black stick and place and place a dot right here. And then you're gonna take the blue twirly bigger end No, you're lucky. <laughs> We're gonna walk the dots straight out to this dot right here. Okay, I have some very exciting news. This is our last step, okay? So we're gonna take the black stick with paint color one. Black stick with paint color one. And we're gonna place one dot like that, and then one dot above it, but leave some room. And then two dots on the sides of those. <laughs> Okay, next step, we're gonna take the blue twirly with paint color four. And we're gonna over dot these four dots all facing in towards each other. Next step, we're gonna take the blue twirly bigger end again with paint color two. And we're gonna overlap these dots over here. Once you're done with that, you're gonna stick with the same size and same color and over dot these ones right below them.